so today's video is going to be a cool video, I think. It's going to be a makeup collection video. But this is going to be kind of an in-depth look at my makeup collection, so I'm going to do it in different installments. So the first one, for example, is going to be palettes, and I have so many palettes in front of me. So I'm going to keep this intro short and to the point, because this video is going to last a while as it is. I know my lighting isn't great, but that's simply because it's dark outside and I don't have studio lights. So I can't really do anything about it. Um, but yeah, here I'm moving my backpack. I'll be right back. So I moved that. So this is just going to be a fun little look at my makeup palettes. So I'm going to get started with the high-end ones. These are ones that I bought just a couple, like, a week ago or something. This is from the Too Faced, uh, no, not toothpaste. the Too Faced, um, the, what is this called? Hold on. I, I have the house still. It's the Grand Chateau palette. And it just comes with three mini palettes and then a mascara. So I'm just going to kind of show you each palette. So this is kind of like the nighttime palette. And it just has darker colors with like a blush. And I think that the shade Parfait is really pretty. That's this one right here. I also like Rendezvous, which is this one right here. So that's pretty. I haven't tried this palette that much, but I'm really excited to try it a lot more. This is kind of the rose toned palette. This is really pretty. Um, it just looks like this. I haven't tried any of the shades in this palette yet, um, but I'm really excited to try these and I think they're going to be really pretty. So yeah. Then I've got the kind of neutral palette and this is just neutrals and nudes and that kind of thing. So I really like this shade right here and I like this shade. Um, I've worn this palette quite a few times. And I really like these shadows. I feel like they wear really well. And I'm kind of digging it. Not going to lie. Um, then I have some Urban Decay palettes. And by some I mean four. Because why? I, I can mostly. Um, so these are the three Naked palettes. I have the Naked 3, Naked 2, and Naked 1. <laughs> that's funny. It's like Naked 1, 2, 3. I just realized that was funny. Anyway, uh, like that I had them all in the right order. So anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. So that's what the outside and then the Naked One has a felt, like a velvety felt kind of cover and then it has a magnetized bottom. And I've loved this palette to death. I've hit pan on the shade Sin, I've hit pan on Naked, and I've hit pan on Sidecar. So these three are my three favorite shades and I love them. So yeah, I've kind of used the crap out of this palette, and I love it. So yeah, um, I like this palette a lot. Then I have the second one that I bought um, was the Naked 3, because I was just like, I don't need Naked 2, it's not pretty enough. And actually, funny enough, I never use this palette. I only use this shade, and that's like it, and I never actually have used this palette. I haven't used it in like months. Um... And then I have been using the Naked 2 a lot, which is funny because I was like, I don't need it. But I've been using the shade Booty Call and Chopper and Half Baked Tease and Snake Bite. Those are like my top shadows. So this is what the palette looks like. It's more of a cooler tone palette. It's really pretty. It's funny how like if you put a shadow in here, like Half Baked's in here and it's in the Naked 1 palette. But it looks completely different. Like it makes the palette, it just looks like cooler now I guess because it's like in the cool tone palette and it looks really warm and gross and it's in the warm, naked one so it's just weird. Then I have this tiny little palette. This is the Urban Decay Ammo palette. This comes with two, four, six, eight, ten shadows um, and it's just really pretty. They're kind of jewel toned and like really metallic. There's no mattes whatsoever in this palette. My favorite shade is the shade Last Call which is just a really dark purple. I think that's a really unique color. And I really like it. I don't really have anything like that in my makeup collection. So I really like this shade right here. Then I have um, a couple of other palettes. So I have a Stila palette. This I bought um, because I was like, I've tried the Stila in the light palette. And I love it. So I'm going to buy more of the palettes. Well, I didn't really think about what I was buying. And I just kind of grabbed one and bought it. This is the Stila in the moment. And I thought, oh, this is going to be really pretty. I have le literally used this palette like twice. And I just don't like it. I think it would be really pretty for like a bridal look. But I don't think it's kind of me. So I just, I'm not really a fan of this palette. I have to play around with it a lot more though until I can like kind of say that. Um, then I have a Stila Eyeshadow Quad. 
This is in the shade Surreal. And this is what the palette looks like. I know my fingers look disgusting. You don't have to comment on them. But I just really like this palette. My favorite shade is, of course, the one that, has, that I've hit pan on. It's just a browny taupe color with, like, silver shimmer in it. Really pretty. Really great. I really like it. So, yeah. Definitely one of my favorite shades. Then I've got um, one of the most expensive palettes in my whole collection. This is the Marc Jacobs The Tease palette. And I wanted the Lolita palette, but I got The Tease. Um, which is fine because it's still a really expensive palette and I still really like it. But this is the Style Icon number 7. And, and, but it's in 202 The Tease. So, that, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like this shade, but other than that, I'm not really a fan of any of the other shades in the palette. I'm not really a purple on the eye kind of fan, but I do like that middle shade and I love this packaging. So I'm definitely going to get the Lolita palette and definitely check that out. I have, lastly, I have three different high-end palettes so that's the, that are left. So I have the Estee Lauder Pure Color Eyeshadow and Pure Color Gloss Palette. And it just comes with, um eight eye shades and three um lip glosses and I wasn't expecting to like this at all um I only like this shade really right here um but I don't really use this palette ever because I just don't really have time to use it compared to my, most of my other palettes that I love to use so I'm not as much of a fan of this one as I am one of the naked palettes or one of those new Too Faced palettes the next one is the NARS Narcissist Eye Palette. And this is a really gorgeous palette when you're looking at it. It has a huge mirror. It's like a great palette. Except for the wearing and the qual like the wear length and the quality of these eyeshadows suck. Like they're literally terrible. And I was like, this is awful. So um, I'm not really a fan of it. Um, I love the mirror, but that's about it in this palette. The last high-end palette I have is the Laura Mercier Cuba palette. And this just looks like a little clutch. You unzip it. And then it has um, three shades, three bl or two blushes, a highlighter, and then two glosses. And I just never use this palette. It's actually really gross. Um, I feel like Sable would be a really pretty shade right here. But I just never use it because I don't, like, it's disgusting and I'm not a fan. Um, but yeah, so... If you're looking for a palette that you, like, you don't want to get, I'd definitely say this one because it, it's gross. It's a gross palette. It's a gross idea. I'm just not a fan of the Laura Mercier Cuba palette. Now we're into drugstore palettes, which I have a significantly less amount of. Um, I have the NYX Boheme Chic palette, which is just their nude matte palette. And it's just a really pretty matte palette. It's all nudes. I really like the shade right here, which is hit pan on. And it has a huge mirror that's really dirty right now, but it just has this huge mirror. And I'm just a huge fan of the matte browns, like, for it to use the transition colors. So this is really my transition color palette. Like, you can use it if you're doing a blue look, you can do this. If you're doing, like, a lighter look, you can, like, with warm tones. And you can just do so many different things with this look. And I'm a huge fan, and I love it. Then I have the Maybelline Blushed Nudes Palette, which I actually like way more than the normal The Nudes Palette because I hated the Maybelline The Nudes Palette. But this is supposed to be a dupe of the Naked 3. Um, some of these shades in the Naked 3 are pretty much dead on in here, but the formulation is a bit different. I really like this shade right here. I like this shade. I love this one. And then I like this one and this one. So, yeah, I'm, a, I'm kind of a fan of this palette. I haven't used it in forever. But how it's set up is you can use it in quads, so there's either three quads, there's four trios, or there's like six duos. So that's how it's set up, and I think it's really pretty. I think you can definitely find a cute look with this, and I'm kind of fa like fanning, fangirling over it. The next one was from this Wet n Wild Summer Collection, and they never do six pan palettes, so I was like super happy that they did this. Um, well, they used to, but they, I think they discontinued them, but this is the vinyl collection, and it's white, so you can tell it's limited edition packaging, and I am not a fan of this. Like, the shadows just came across, like, chalky and gross, like, and just not as good a quality. Like, I like this shade right here, but, like, the gold 
is like I can't deal with it like the gold is just not that pretty to me and I just I don't I'm not really a fan like I just not I'm not a fan um so I definitely would recommend not getting this palette like the pink is just chunky it's like too chunky glitter and it's just I can't deal with it so not a fan of those for sure um, but then to close off this thing are two palettes that I'm absolutely crazy about from the drugstore. And these are two blush palettes from e.l.f. And these are the only two blush palettes I think they sell. Um, light and dark. This is the dark one. This is the light one. And they're just little quads of blush. And this is the lighter shade. So you can tell that, like, I, like, these are more, like, shades for, like, summer or people with lighter skin tones. Um, personally, I've tried every single palette. Um, color in this palette and I love it um I think it's amazing the mirror is huge like I like said for half these palettes it's a huge mirror but then for the dark one I feel like you can only use the top two colors because the other two are just too dark for my skin tone so I either use this one or this one um this is I was expecting this to be like a darker matte peach but it's actually this color like this like you wouldn't expect these two to be the same shade but they are which I think is weird, but whatever. And then there's like a darker mauve pink, which I think is also really pretty. But like, you, these are so pigmented, you have to like tap your brush. You have to be really careful in what you put on because they're really, really pigmented. And I'm not complaining because it's really cool. Because they're like three bucks or six bucks. But it's kind of annoying because you have to like tap off your brush. You have to kind of lightly tap it onto your skin. I'm just not a fan. But I love the colors. I love the lasting power. I'm a big fan so, of the blushes, but not of the fact that you have to, like, really go slow and concentrate on not getting it all over the place. So, yeah, that concludes my video, and I don't know how long that was because there's white. I have white ceilings, so I can't really tell on my camera how long that took. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you enjoyed it, go like this video right now. Give it a thumbs up, and then subscribe down below or whatever. I'll have all the palettes listed in the description box. Maybe not by the same, like, um, maybe not by, like, in the same, like, order. But I will have them listed in the description box, and I hope you guys like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I already said that. Come back to my channel. I make new videos, like, once a week I try. I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. I know. But I'm trying. So don't hate me. Mm. Um, it's been, like, a month, actually. But whatever. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm trying to make new, more videos. I've just been focusing a lot on school recently. Um, but yeah, I'll try to make videos for you guys. And yeah, subscribe if you like me. And give a comment down below of something you want me to do. And I just have to kind of give you a thumbs up. I don't have a normal camera or a tripod. So I can't really do like cost, like outfit of the weeks or like, um, vlogs are, don't really work for me at all on my because I have to edit I just got a computer to edit stuff on but like it before it didn't really work on my iPad so I have to edit on my computer figure out my editing software so vlogs might be a little difficult um but yeah this should be really fun and I hope you guys subscribe we'll get leave comments of videos you want and I will probably do them most likely if you subscribe watch out for those videos and yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm like pushing the subscribing guys like that's terrible like I don't know why I'm pushing it so hardcore but I am so you should do it um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll do a room tour sometime soon maybe I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys in my next video hopefully bye bye